this what I got for Christmas this early? A really shitty trailer to a really shitty game. And wouldn't you guess it? It's a ripoff. And you know what's worse? You're all gonna watch it with me. <laughs> Joking aside, this trailer is so bad, it makes the game unplayable. It makes you want to paint your feet. Now, many of you are probably thinking to yourselves, what game is this you speak of? Well, this. Strap on your guitar and get ready to rock. Introducing Guitar Praise. If any of you are curious, yes, this game does exist, as well with the name. I mean, that name is about as generic as Band Hero, or DJ Hero. The new Windows and Mac computer game that lets you jam with the band. Complete with wireless guitar controller, Guitar Praise lets you play along with your favorite Christian bands. Add a second guitar and rock out with a friend. No offense, but who the living hell is going to play this abysmal ripoff? Let alone, the concept of the game is having a guitar-shaped plastic strapped to your hip being the new thing in gaming. And honest to God, why just Christian songs? Is it because we have, or wait, still have severely sheltered individuals that still haven't established that a rating system on a video game exists? God, people, move in reality. And seriously, the striped shirt kid he looks like he has problems. Shred the riffs, thump the bass, and blast that solid Christian rock. Yeah, that's real enthusiasm. Guitar Praise includes over 50 tracks from top Christian artists, including Toby Mac, Stellar Cart, Skillet, Casting Crowns, Hawk Nelson, Family Force 5, Newsboys, and more. I bet kids watching this during their CCD class in church fell asleep at this point. With four levels of play, from beginner to expert, Guitar Praise is perfect for families with kids of all ages. In other words, it's for your oversensitive, overprotective family that has a phobia of reality, especially to volume games such as Mario Brothers. I mean, really, if you're so freaking afraid of Guitar Hero or a rock band scaring your freaking kids for life, teach them to not say such explicit language. But really, what are the chances of that happening? I don't recall a mother complaining that her child would swear in a Guitar Hero game or a Rock Band game. Even mom or dad can give it a try. They'll love the rock classics from Petra, White Cross, and others. <laughs> Even the mom and the other kid looked bored shitless. Hey, Tommy. Yeah, Los Bros is starting to go to Q. Yay! Guitar Praise includes a wireless guitar controller with a detachable neck strap, whammy bar, strum bar, volume controls, and an on-off switch. Yeah, like we're complete news about the ways of the guitar, specifically Guitar Hero or Rock Band at this point. And really, what's the point of volume control? Don't we have something called speakers for our computers or televisions? Oh, I'm sorry, they didn't exist? My bad. Simply install the game on your computer. Insert the wireless adapter into the USB port. <laughs> you, you forgot to mention the other instructions on how to start the game, such as clicking on the shitty game. Turn on the on-off switch on your guitar. Now you can move around the room as you rock. <laughs> Each of the tracks includes notes for lead and bass guitar. You and your friend can both play the lead, or one can play lead and the other bass. And each player can play at his own level. On-screen lyrics reflect positive Christian messages. Yeah, like, I'm gonna let a Christian rock band tell me that they are my savior. <coughs> I don't ship. <coughs> if your friends are watching you shred... Dude, it's five buttons. You don't shred on five buttons. They can sing along. With over 50 songs, 4 levels per song, and lead and bass per level. I can't help but think that these people just came from Jesus Camp. 
There are over 400 ways to play. 400 ways to play? Um, I'm sorry, but I thought this was a guitar game. Since when does holding a piece of plastic with five buttons, a whammy bar, and a strum bar have 400 ways to play? I call fucking bullshit! Start out slowly on level one, which only uses the first three fret buttons, and then advance through the levels. Expert mode uses all five fret buttons and includes split chords and three note chords. Soon you'll be rocking with the best of them. Play the notes on screen by pressing the fret buttons and strum away. Tilt the guitar at the right time for bonus points and hit the whammy bar to create your own style of play. The on-screen marquee shows you the difficulty level, player name, song, artist, and current score. It also shows you how you're doing. When the lights go out, the song stops and you'll have to try again. Power Duel mode keeps it exciting. Play the riff correctly and you earn the right to mess with your opponent. Tilt the guitar to send effects to the other player's instructions. Watch out, because they'll get you back. That's only two ways to play in the game! That is fucking deceptive marketing! And I thought Christians were supposed to be truthful. Guess I was wrong after all. What a load of shit! When you've earned enough talent points, you can trade them in for new guitars with different effects and sounds. High scores are recorded per song, per instrument, and per level. Narrator, just shut the hell up. We'll know how to play the game if, one, there's a tutorial in the main menu of the game, or two, read the manual! Live the dream. Jam with your favorite Christian bands. Guitar Praise. New from Digital Praise. Oh, Lord. Forgive them. For they don't know what they have done. Except this. Now, I'll be honest. I have nothing against Christian rock. They have such a shitty trailer that portrays rejects from a Nintendo Wii commercial have a freaking tutorial and to rip off the concept of an overrated franchise is just embarrassing. And speaking of ripping off, last time I checked, wasn't one of the Ten Commandments do not steal? Apparently not for Digital Praise that made this game. Every time I look at the trailer, I see something that an oversheltered parent would buy for their brainwashed kid. I see these same parents condemning the rock genre, guitar hero, and rock band as the devil's work. Guess what then? Did you know that the vocalist for Slayer is Catholic? Devil's work, you say? I don't think so. To those ignorant fucks, stop sheltering your kids. Why, you ask? Well, let me give you a cold hard fact. If you do, it makes them socially retarded and difficult to deal with in real world. Well, I hope you enjoy this wonderful Christmas gift with me. Now, if you may excuse me, I'm going to throw this in the trash. T4 saying, have a nice day. And remember, rock on!